What's happening with y'all? You know I'm back again with another video. You know, just another day, another injury. So today, hitting my um, can't even think my arms. And then tomorrow, I'm probably gonna do my chest. But like I said before. I'm still doing one muscle a day. I'm not gonna start supersetting or that until I get more kicked in because it's like, I don't wanna overdo my body to where when I'm crutching, I literally fall, I collapse to the ground because my arms are giving out, you feel me? So I'm gonna start adding my core in too. You'll eventually see that. And I'm gonna just show you the core stuff I do. I usually try to do like around 400 reps, but we'll see how that goes. Cause I know I'm limited to what I have to do for my core, but it shouldn't just more reps simple as that but y'all about to see the new whip finally came in so y'all y'all gonna see me take a test drive you see how i'll be moving with that thing it's very convenient now because you know i was doing the lemon pepper steps on my um crutches but not no more man i got my vehicle ready to go got the um insurance damage all that so we moving we really move it. Everything's going well. I'm probably like my thing thinking about surgery. It's more 70, 30 now. I feel like I'm not gonna do surgery. The more I like, I'm just thinking about it, but it may change, but right now I'm more 70, 30 without having surgery. How my cast is, man. It's, so the pain isn't that bad anymore. I'm starting to get used to everything, but it's just more now like I'm starting to officially like take more showers and that thing is the truth though I, i'm not gonna lie i thought that little bag or you put over i thought that thing was cap i thought my cast was gonna get wet and things like that were just gonna uh, be a problem but um overall it worked perfect so now I'm finally about to take them showers boy i mean i was a little bit but i had my leg out but now it's like we full throttle in there but it is dangerous because i am on one leg you need to find like a stool or something just to sit there, you know, feel me? And just go, just let that thing rip. But overall, we doing great though, baby. Y'all about to see the new whip. I need to wait for my spinners to come in though. I'm kind of upset about that, but I'm going to get back to y'all. Y'all see the whip. We're going to be ready. We're going to get locked and loaded, brother. But in the meantime, let's get these gains. Oh!
right, the moment y'all been waiting for. Let me get a drum roll real quick. Boom! The new whipper. Oh, man. Coming straight out of the collection from Niagara Falls. The knee rider, the knee rover. We going to the moon, baby. Better yet, Mars. Oh, my God. What happened to Virgil? Yes, sir. But this is the new whip, though. You feel me? It got the little pad right there to keep my leg little cushioned. We got the nice 22s, 24s, however you want to call them. You know, we got the nice e-brakes. You know, it got that automatic stop, too. You feel me? So if I get close to another scooter, you know, it's going to stop before that or get somewhere. So I don't even have to worry about that. We got the NOS right here, too. It's not fully installed. I still want an extra boost, but you just turn this thing to the right and boom. <laughs> taken off that's why it's red so proceed with caution but yeah you know it's a little mobile and stuff right here you feel me yeah we got the hydraulics back here too I had to do it for my boy Eddie Guerrero but the hydraulics need some assistance because I was I was having too much fun with it when I was test riding it trying to see if um it was gonna be worth it and I kind of messed it up so I got to take that back to the shop but overall this is it right here. New whip. We got the reflectors right there, too. I can't forget that. Got to block the haters out the way because, you know, they always going to be hating. But we're going to uh, wrap this, too. I'm, I'm trying to think of, like, a royal blue, maybe. Might have put the wrap on there. You feel me? Shout out to my boy for this. He hooked it up for me. Greatest car salesman in the area. So hit him up. That was the whip. Oh, I'm over here hopping around. Let me just chill right here because I don't got the crutches. Ooh, wee, I'm tripping. But that was the whip right there, though. It's going to be real fun using this thing, man, getting from point A to point B. Now you're going grocery shopping as long as I have a backpack behind me or something. Actually, when I go grocery shopping, I don't use the cart. But if we're going a little small errands in there, I'm going to be going through the miles left and right. She asked all the uh, older folks, too, if they trying to race. I might, have, I might get a couple of gigs with that um, for show. But my, we might have to go to, like, Walmart or Safeway for that. I'm going I'm to a, I'm a bet. Let's do Safeway. I'm going to ask some folks, some old folks in there with the cars. I'm like, hey, you trying to race for some money? I'll give you a head start, too. If you're watching this video, I doubt it. But but that's the new whip, though. I finally showed y'all what I'm getting around in. Probably going to see a video of me riding or cruising around with it, you know. Because I got I to gotta break it in. I got to put the mileage on it. Low mileage, that's a good thing. But overall, I'm straight, man. Uh, I'll keep y'all updated on what's more going on. Y'all stay safe. Take it one leg at a time. We out.